Stop banging on the floor. Okay. After this one, you're in bed. I'm yeah. going to gray. Yes. Get everybody. Paige, you better get ready. Okay. All right, so I've got everybody muted except Sandy and I, and we are in recording mode at this point. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and kick it off, and then I will introduce it over to the fabulous Sandy. But um, I'm really excited that Sandy and I decided to uh, kind of joint effort here um, and get both of our teams on the call. Um, we kind of brainstorm some different topics. We've got the next few weeks uh, kind of set up, ready to go. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am Meredith Tucker. Um, our team is the Fashion Fanatics. Um, so I would say, I don't know, maybe half of the people on here are from our team. Uh, but we are really excited to join um, arms, link arms with Sandy and her team. I know you guys are doing amazing things. Um, I am a trainer almost a coach, very, very, very close to um, being a coach. Uh, just got a few more people that need to onboard. I've been in LuLaRoe since the day after Thanksgiving, so we're coming up on our one-year anniversary here soon, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, but I'm just glad to um, be on and be a part of um, training you guys and, and helping you guys have success in your business. So with that being said, I'll turn it over to Sandy um, and let her take it away. Hey guys, I'm tagging some girls on the team. Um, I'm Sandy Bills, if you guys don't know who I am. I started at the end of December. So I am a little bit um, behind Meredith. I am a trainer and um, uh, my team is called the Style Squad. Uh, alliteration, Sandy's Style Squad. You know, they all decided that was the best. So that's what we went with. We like alliteration. So I'm super excited that uh, Meredith and I decided to do this. I, I sent her a message and I'm like, hey, you got strong points. I got strong points. Let's work together so we can uh, team up and get our girls like powerhousing. So the two of us are pretty dynamic. I guess you could call us like a dynamic duo. We're pretty amazing not to pat ourselves on the back and toot our own horns, but every once in a while we need to do that, right? So I don't ever work off of notes because I'm totally ADD and I'm all over the place, but I wrote notes for you guys. I'm super excited about this, like actual pages. Oh, it's going okay. to be really exciting. So if I look down, that's why. Um, but um, first of all, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so glad you guys took the time to jump on this call because it's so important to continue your training and your education. It is magical because the more you know, honestly, it, it's so true. The more you know, the better you are. Okay. And I have so many tidbits for you. And Meredith asked me to talk to you guys about sales. So first, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my why and how I got into that. Because your why is kind of fundamental to your sales. And your why could be something little. It could be something big. It could be something in between. It could be something tragic. It could be something just normal. Like, yeah, I need to make money. And that's okay. But whatever your why is, you need to make it relatable. So if it's because you just need to make money to pay your bills, everybody understands that. Or if it's because you need to make money because you want to have the freedom to do things, that's fine. I started in this, goodness, almost a year ago. Um, my husband had a stroke about a year and a half ago. And I needed to make some money and I needed to do something. Well, I tried the whole, you know, it works thing and it didn't work. It doesn't work. It's not a real thing. It just doesn't work. Um, but okay, everybody has to sell what they have to sell. You got to do what you have to do, right? It doesn't work. So um, if you don't believe in the product, I didn't believe in the product. I can't sell snake oil because that's what it is. It's, it's a band-aid to a problem. It's not a real thing. So if you are not going to stand behind what you're selling, if you do not believe what in what you're selling, you will not be successful. That is the bottom line. You have to believe in what you are selling. A number one. That is like your biggest thing. Um, if you do not believe in what we sell, then this isn't the business for you. If you don't believe that when women put LuLaRoe on, it's like a magic invisibility cloak or whatever you want to call it, it just makes everyone feel good about themselves. It truly, truly does. From thin people to heavy people and everywhere in between, we all feel magical when we put our LuLaRoe on. 
So if you do not believe in what you are selling, you cannot sell it. And yes, I know everyone says, you are not selling clothes, you are selling your why. And that is true, guys. That is really, really true. And that is why your why is so fundamental. People are buying from you because they like you. They're not buying from you because, you know, you're just right there. They're not. They're on your page. They're in your group. They shop at your house because they like you, because of who you are, your why your reason for doing this. If you don't have a why, I encourage you to sit down and think about it and write it out, okay? So that's just my little bit on your why. You all know your why is fundamental. Janine talks about that all the time, so I'm not gonna really go into that. I am gonna go into actually selling. Nobody ever gets into the nitty gritty of selling because Yes, everybody buys LuLaRoe because they love LuLaRoe, but guess what? You still are selling it, okay? And this is gonna be the hard part. Nobody ever wants to hear about the actual sales aspect of the business, but you are selling it, okay? So, you know, guys, we work for a company that has massive, massive profit margins. The majority of the company that any of these work from home businesses, any business that you work for, the majority of them, you guys, the profit margins are not even close to what ours are, okay? So know that right up front. You guys, we have a great profit margin and we have a great product. You need to believe in your product. Product knowledge is key to selling. If you know all there is to know about your product, you can sell it no matter what. Because why? Because you can overcome any objection. Oh, I can't wear that. That's not going to fit right. I mean, that, that fabric clings to everything. That, what do you mean by that fabric? What are you asking? What are you saying to me by that fabric? Oh, you think it's a clingy fabric. I'm sorry. This Amelia is not a clingy fabric. It is a stretchy textured fabric. And guess what? It hides every bump and flaw that you have. Um, you have to know your product in order to say that. Okay, guys. So if you haven't studied up on your product knowledge, please, please, please do so. It is fundamental to selling anything. That is sales 101. Okay. Um, working your business, online sales. I know a lot of people are like, the market is saturated. Girls, we are not saturated. We are not even close to saturated. So if you're going to use that as your excuse, I don't buy it, okay? How have I been successful from the beginning? Okay, that is what some people ask me. How did you start right off the bat and just be successful? I'm gonna get real frank with y'all. I worked my ass off. I did not stop. When you are getting ready to go to bed, I'm working. When other people are getting ready to go to bed, I was working. I never stopped in the beginning. The first four months, I literally worked almost nonstop to build my business. And once you build your business to where people are shopping from you because of you, not just because of LuLaRoe, because of who you are, because of your business, then you can take a step back and cut your hours back a little bit. But only then. In the beginning, you have to work like no one else, okay? Seriously, guys, you really do. Um, did I have my sales where I sold nothing? It happened. It happens to all of us. Even my girls, they message me and they're like, oh my gosh, my online sale tonight, I sold nothing. Guess what? It's happened to me. So what? What did I do? I got on. I did a video. I did whatever I needed to do to start selling things. And guess what? Things started selling. Guys, we do have a massive profit margin. So if you need to, I know a lot of you do, if you spend over $100 free shipping, do it. We have enough of a profit margin that you can do it. I never do free shipping, really ever. Every once in a while, I'll run a special for it, but I don't do it very often. But when I do it, my sales will double that sale because my group knows I don't do it very often. Do not offer discounts for no reason at all. Our product does not need a discount at all, ever, never, ever. Do not participate in a multi-consultant sale that says, PM me for pricing. Do not, you guys are degrading the brand and you do not want to do that, okay? Customer service is key to building a successful online business or an in-person business. Um, I follow the golden rule. For me, 
I treat my customers the way I wanted to be, I want to be treated. If they have a problem, what am I going to do to fix it? The first thing I always do if I have an issue or a complaint from one of my customers is I acknowledge them. Oh my goodness, even if I cannot handle it right at that moment, oh my goodness, I am so sorry this has happened. You're, I'm so sorry your shipping hasn't gotten to you yet, or I am so sorry you got that item and it doesn't fit you right. Acknowledge is key. Always acknowledge first. Second, give them a call to action. Tell them what you're going to do to help them. If you can't help them right now, I'm in the middle of something right now. I will get back to you tonight or I will get back to you tomorrow. Set an expectation of when you're going to get back to them so they have that expectation in line so you cannot get into a negative situation. And then follow through, ladies. Get back with them, okay? Oh, okay, great. So you have an issue, your item doesn't fit. No problem, of course you can send it back to me. Here's the link to my Google form for returns. Go ahead and fill that out. The address is on there, mail it back to me and I'll be happy to do an exchange for you. Once I receive it, you will have a credit to shop with me for anything you want. Awesome, fantastic, and done. That's it, it's done. You've A, acknowledged, B, you've dealt with the problem, and C, you've moved on, and that's it. And then you're keeping records for your bookkeeping, okay? If y'all want, I'll give Meredith the link to my Google for my returns and my hostess rewards so you guys can kind of go on and look at them. It's a great tool for you to keep track of your hostess rewards, your giveaways, and um, your return exchanges. It's a great tool for that, and your accountant will love you for that, okay? Guys, I know some of you is you, some of you have not done your 72-hour game plan you need to do your 72 hour game plan and you need to be working it all the time. That is the way you book your calendar. That is the way you book your business. That is the way you keep going. Okay. I lost my planner. I dropped it in the mud. It was ruined. Guess what? I didn't work my 72 hour game plan. My October calendar is empty. Not one thing on it. That was yesterday. I got my, I got my planner. I have my new planner. I started working my 72 hour game plan. I have all but three dates booked for my October by making tons and tons of phone calls and messages yesterday, okay? You have to put in the work. What you put in is what you are going to get out of this business, okay? Um, someone is always selling, guys. Someone is always sold, okay? Whether it's you are selling to them or they're selling you on the why they can't, why I can't host this party, why I can't do this, why I can't do that. So you have to decide who's the one who's going to be sold. Is it going to be you or is it going to be them? You have to sell them. That's the bottom line. It is a business. Yes, LuLaRoe sells itself, but you are selling. You are selling you, okay? Why should they host the party with you? Why should they do that? You have to do that, okay, guys? That is up to you. Perception is reality. People buy on emotion. It's an emotion-based thing, okay? They love the item, and they want it, and they're going to buy it. They love you. They have a connection with you. They're going to host a party for you. Everything we do is really emotional-based, especially as women. I mean, our emotions play a huge, huge role in what we do. Sorry, I'm dying with this light on me. It's hot up in here. Um, okay, the best customer... Does anyone know, and I know you're all on mute, so, but raise your hand if you know the best customer to have. What is the best customer to have? Raise your hand if you know what it is. Meredith, what is it? A brand new one. <laughs> Actually, no. Haha, <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say that. Great question. The best customer to have is the repeat customer or the be back customer, because those are the customers who continue to come to you and continue to shop with you, and those are the customers that you know that are spreading your name. Those are the customers that are sharing your page. Those are the customers that you want because they continue to shop from you no matter what. When there is thousands of other, of other LuLaRoe consultants to shop from, the repeat customer, your be back customer, is your most valuable customer. Those are the customers that you wanna do anything you can to make them happy. So guess what guys, every once in a while when they buy something for you, 
send a pair of leggings in with that. You are going to surprise them and it's going to be magical. And those customers are the ones that are going to continue to add people to your page, are going to continue to bless your business. They're going to continue to word of mouth. They're going to, especially local ladies, guys, because not everyone's on Facebook. If you have local customers like that, that is magical and get on it, okay? Love them as much as you can because those are the ones who are going to continually bless your business over and over and over again. Okay. Um, because you know what guys, you're exceeding their expectations and that's how you get VBAC customers by going a little bit above and beyond. Yeah. Maybe you're tired and you don't want to ship that same day or the next day. Guess what? Put your big girl panties on, package that stuff up, drive over to the post office and drop it off because guess what? They're going to post on your page the next day when they get it and say, oh my goodness, Sandy didn't have internet, yet she found a way to get me my package. That happened today. I didn't have internet because the stinking yard guys cut my cable and internet lines. I had a sale last night. I had 50 packages I need to package up. What did I do? I went to Walmart and I bought a hotspot and I hooked it up to my post office printer and I printed all my labels and I took all 50 of those packages to the post office. So I never want to hear, I can't do it because guess what? You can. It's just, will you do it? What are you going to do to be successful in your business? Are you going to book eight parties a week in your group to kickstart your group? Do it. Get on it. Book four hostesses on your VIP page for a Tuesday and book another four hostesses in your VIP page on a Friday. Build your group. Build your core shopping group. If you can't send a little tchotchke, I send little tchotchkes. I send gummies in my packages. Did I always? No. I do not wrap my stuff. I do not put handwritten notes in it. I don't have time for that. I have three kids and a husband and we're busy. So what I do do is I ship out the same day or the next day that you pay. If you pay by like three or four o'clock, you better be sure your package is heading out that day. And that, my friends, is the best customer service you can give. And I know we're all busy because we are. We really are busy. Every single one of us have busy lives, but it is so important. Um, the next thing I want you guys to know, I did say believe in your product. I did tell you that. But you need to not only believe in the product, but you need to believe in the process. The process that LuLaRoe has set before you. The process that is tried and true in any type of sales is your 72-hour game plan. Whether it's called a 72-hour game plan or not, it's called something, your business plan, whatever you want to call it, it is a 72-hour game plan. What are you doing today that is going to bless your business tomorrow, the next day, and the day after? You need to realize that that is the key to your success. Your success is based on how hard you work and how hard you try. Because if you want it, you will make it happen. I wanted it. I made it happen. Meredith wanted it. She made it happen. She quit her job. She's doing LuLaRoe full time. Guys, if you want it bad enough, stay up that extra hour at night. When you are tired and you are peeling your eyelids open as you're sitting there sending that invoice and you have 10 more to send, don't wait till the morning. Go ahead and, I don't know, splash some water on your face. Stick your head in the freezer. Run around the house barefoot. Whatever you need to do to wake yourself up, get back on it because you are going to be the one who sent all your invoices that night. And then the next morning when they're all paid, you're going to be the one who shipped it out. And guess what that's going to create? That's going to create your be back customer. That is going to create your customer for life. We are emotional buyers. I get really excited when my stuff gets here in a day or two. I literally like want to cry. Like, oh my gosh, my Sarah just got here. I am so excited. I'm going to put it on. Guess what, guys? If we are all like that, our customers are all like that. So be the person you would want to buy for. Just like being a leader. If you want to be a leader, and Meredith is going to talk about that next week, guys. If you want to be a leader, be the leader that you want to follow. Because guess what? If you're not that leader, your ladies are not going to follow you. Okay? Um, hang on. I've got more notes. One moment, please. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. 
I had a message the other day from a rock star, not on my team or Meredith's team, just a rock star in general. And it was kind of a downer, you know, Debbie Downer. Gosh, our orders are taking so long. Man, I have all this product. It's so old. Gosh, what am I going to do? I can't work like this. This is so hard. Guys, I want to tell you something. I place orders every day to every other day. I have over $15,000 out there in orders. The last order I received was from September 1st. I don't have any new inventory, and I haven't had any for two weeks. Last Tuesday, I sold 76 items in my online sale. This past Tuesday, I sold 54 items in my online sale. Did I have anything new? No, I didn't. Guess what? It is never, ever, ever old inventory. Okay, people are like, oh, it's old. I've had this forever. I don't know what to do. You know, this isn't working. Guess what? See this outfit behind me? This is an amazing Peacock Madison, and I've had it in my inventory for three weeks, which means I've had it in about six sales and it has not sold. This classic tea is fantastic. I've had it in my inventory for probably about four months, guys. I put these two together and it sold today, okay? Find a way, make a way, set your goals, do what you need to do to reach them. My goals this week were astronomical. I set my goals high this week, ridiculous. Guess what, I'm more than halfway there and it's Wednesday. Set your goals high, do what you need to do to make it. If it's 10 pieces a day, if that's what works for you, that's great. Mine is 200 pieces for the week. What am I gonna do to reach that goal? I can't just write down, I need to sell 200 pieces this week. Sit here on my ball chair and bounce around and think about the pieces that I need to sell to pay my bills, to pay for my son's braces, to pay for dance, to do this. Gosh, this is hard. Or I stop and I think about what I'm going to do to make that happen. Guess what I did? I put a bunch of outfits in my car. I took them to the kids' school. Guess how many outfits I sold today at the kids' school? Seven. Seven outfits, that's 14 pieces, guys. You can do it too. Find a way, make a way. You don't have kids in a school, you have a job, take it to work with you. Put it next to your desk. People are gonna walk by. Hey, what you got there? Hmm. Oh, you don't have anything in my size? Oh, what's your size? I'll bring it for you tomorrow. Throw it in your bag tomorrow. Guys, set your goals and make a plan to reach them. The 72-hour game plan, okay? Book your calendar. Figure out what it is that you need to do to get there, okay? Um, I'm watching my time. Believe in the product. I told you that. If you believe in your product and you're passionate about it, guys, it radiates from you and you will sell. Okay, be real. I am as real as they get. If you guys are not on my page, go get on my page and watch my video from two days ago where I was literally sobbing because I miss my dad. My dad passed away. It's been a really hard year for me between my husband and my dad just passed away and I was having a really crappy day, really crappy day, really, really crappy and I didn't want to do anything. And you know what? Something you know, told me that I needed to get on and do this video. And guess what? I got on and did this video. Not only was being real, did it help me pick myself up and do what I needed to do for the day? But I had messages all day long from women on my page saying, man, you don't know how much I needed to hear that today, that it's okay to be a hot mess some days, that it's okay to have the puffy cry eyes. It's okay to do those things. It's okay to have those days. Other people have those days. As people see from us, you know, we're always happy. We're always happy, right? Guess what? We're not always happy, and it's okay for people to know that. Life isn't perfect. We as LuLaRoe consultants are not perfect, and it's okay for people to see that and know that from us because if we are not real and we are not passionate about what we're doing, passionate about life, and passionate about our success, you will not succeed. 
bottom line. Your success is based on you, okay? And again, that goes back to my webinar that I did on the rock stars a couple weeks ago, tying into self-worth and self-esteem. If you have a minute, go watch that one. That will help you with this, guys. It really, really will. Um, also, the one thing I wanna tell you guys about our customers, I don't call them my customers. I don't like that word. I feel like it's, I don't want to say it's a bad word, but I feel like it's a cold word. And in the LuLaRoe culture, we are not a cold culture. We are a culture of family. We are a culture of blessings. Um, so, you know, they are our clients. I prefer clients. They are our customers. But what they really truly are is an opportunity to build a relationship. Okay, every person that you get in front of, you have that opportunity to build a relationship. And you build that relationship by providing exceptional customer service, okay? You, by exceeding their expectations, by um, just creating that relationship with them, whether it's online, whether it's in person, whether it is, um, you know, in a group setting, I will tell you ladies, we all do multi consultants. Yes, they help us move our inventory, but you are not building relationships that way. You are not building your be back customer that way. You are not building your um, <clears throat> relationship with those people. You're not creating any type of emotional bond with them. So that is why the women who are successful on their own pages, like me, Janine, Meredith, other ladies, it's because we focused on our groups first. And we still focus on our groups first. Guys, multi-consultants are fantastic, especially you know for moving some of that, what y'all may call old age inventory. Listen, you guys got some great stuff. When I started, I literally got three styles, no leggings, and I got Julia's, I got three prints and a hundred Julia's. And let me just tell you the prints, they were pretty sensational. I have none left. I have none left. I think I traded my last one maybe to Mary Allison. I think Mary Allison got my last one. It was a swap and I did have to get rid of that one because I couldn't look at it any longer. But when you get something like that, you think it's the end of the world. Ladies, y'all have tremendous inventories, especially you newbies. Ooh, I'm jealous of you. You guys get so many things and just fantastic and amazing. So my key for you guys is, you know, work your game plan, 72-hour game plan, your business plan, whatever it is that you want to call it. Write it down set your goals, dream big, because if you are not dreaming big, you're going to fall short. Okay. If you're going to set your goal here, you know, here's your goal and you're just going to walk right over it. That's fine. If I set my goal up here, I better start running so I can get way over that. Right. Guys, start running, stop walking, start running, move your butts, do what you need to do to be successful. For me, in the beginning, it was staying up till three or four the nights that I had sales. Now I don't have to do that so much anymore. But I did, and it was long and hard. But guess what? Now I have all these wonderful people on my page. And guys, my group isn't huge. I don't have a $40,000 page, and I'm doing those sales. I have 10,000 people on my page, and I'm doing those sales. And I've been doing those sales consistently for eight months. Well, we'll take June and July out of the mix because we don't talk about the summer months, but don't talk about the summer months. But for those of you who started in the summer months, you know exactly what we're talking about. Summer months are slow. The J months are slow, and that's okay. That's all of retail, okay? Um, I think that may officially, I scattered all over my notes. I jumped back and forth and up and down, but I think I reached all my bullet points because that's the way I roll. Yeah. Um, so Meredith, you want to open it up for questions? Is that what you normally do? 
Yeah, well, that's what I kind of thought we could do. I know that uh, there's been a lot of things going on um, in the company, so I just wanted to kind of take some time for question and answer. And then, of course, um, we've got two leaders um, here on tonight, uh, myself and Sandy. So we just wanted to, um, since, you know, you might not know the other one, maybe you have some questions um, about our business or about um, how we got started or maybe something specific that you're dealing with. So I did want to just kind of open it up for questions, but Sandy, thank you. I took almost a page of notes. Um, so I really appreciate um, your guidance tonight. It was fantastic information um, to help us have better online sales. So I am going to unmute everybody, but if your background noise is crazy, then I'm going to mute you back again. Um, so if you have some crazy background noise, tell everybody to be quiet momentarily. Um, and you can always mute yourself too if you have some background noise. Um, but I'm going to unmute everybody. And then um, we are going to open it up for questions. So questions, let me know. Questions for me, questions for Sandy. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. sorry. If I lose service, we're camping this week and I'm in Crystal River with no signal. Oh, awesome. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah. Um, I'm having a hard time with time management with working at the bank 40 plus hours. Like how are you, or when you work full time, how did you find time to do it? When we get home, I have three pop-ups in one weekend and I'm really nervous about my time with work and everything else. Absolutely. I can certainly answer that. Let me just meet somebody that we're hearing some background noise on real quick. Um, okay. So that is a fantastic question. And I can't, I'm having a hard, I'm looking at everybody on like a main view. Who is, who was that that just asked a question? Amy. Hey, Amy. Okay. That's who I thought it was. Um, go get in bed. I think that that is, hold on. We got, let's Okay. So, um, I actually, uh, Let's see. I'm going to mute everybody while we answer the question. So then there's no distractions. Um, okay. So for those of you that don't know me, I'll give you just a little background. I did work full time when I started LuLaRoe. Um, and by full time, I mean like 55 plus hours. Um, and I had a one year old. Uh, she will be two in January. Um, I'm married. I was married. I'm still married. Um, and, you know, so I, I was very busy. And quite frankly, I did not start LuLaRoe um, for it to replace my full-time job. I was a career woman. Um, I really wasn't even sure I wanted to be a mom. And I'll share my whole why next week. Um, but being a mom was my greatest blessing, but I still thrived on being a career woman. So when I started LuLaRoe, it was only because it was a hobby. I loved the clothing and I figured I'm spending a lot of money on the clothing. I might as well spend a little bit more and be a consultant and then get a discount and potentially make a little bit of money on a few of my friends that like the clothes. Um, so I was extremely busy. Um, I am also not necessarily what you would consider a night owl. So especially when you have to go to work the next day, I, I'm not necessarily sure I'm recommending to stay up till four in the morning um, because you're not going to be very productive um, at your, your real job um, that you're working. Um, but what I do recommend is um, – you know, scheduling. That was a big thing for me. So, um, you know, getting my husband involved in saying, okay, I'm going to post inventory. And at that time I couldn't be consistent with my posting. We do highly recommend consistency. So right now I post every Tuesday night in my VIP group. When I was working full time, it was hard to have that consistency because if I had a meeting on Tuesday afternoons and I didn't get home till seven o'clock, um, then, then that was just really hard. Um, so I think scheduling kind of week by week. Um, and I think that consistency is important, but when you work full time, your customers understand that they know that. So just make sure that, that you have consistency in your communication. You know, if you're only posting every other week, that's not the end of the world. Um, now if you really want to make this, um, your full-time gig, um, then I recommend posting every single week. Um, but for me, it was just getting the pictures done, you know, on the weekends, 
getting help, that's a huge thing. When I was working full time, um, so I would work all day, I'd come home, I'd be mom, you know, I do bedtime, bath time with my daughter, get her to sleep. And then I would get my husband to help me um, take pictures or, or do things. Whereas now, um, my mom does come over and help me a little bit. Now that I am full time, she comes over and helps. Um, we do pictures and we actually have a really good time um, now. But while I was working, it was getting my husband to help um, and just really coming up with a schedule. I mean, that's the big thing that I could tell you, Amy, um, is scheduling it out. So when you, you know, if you sit down on a Sunday and you look at your schedule and you say, okay, well, obviously I got to work from eight to five. Um, so I'm going to do my sale. Maybe you need to do your sales on Thursday or Friday night. So it doesn't run too much into the work week. I've seen people have success with Saturday morning sales, um, you know, right at 9 a.m. or something like that. And then that way it's not impacting your work um, too much. But I just think the big thing is scheduling and, and finding a schedule that works for you. Um, and Amy, I'm, I know your sponsor um, will gladly help you um, with some of your scheduling. But if I can be of any assistance, let me know. Um, but that was a huge thing for me is having a schedule. Everybody in my household knew what the schedule was, um, which was really only my husband, but you know, um, and he knew the schedule, he followed the schedule. Um, and that that's how we made it work. And then I was ultimately able to quit that job um, and do LuLaRoe full time because that was my ultimate goal. So great question, Amy. All right, who else has questions? I'm almost afraid to unmute. So if you, hold on, Sandy, I see you talking. Let me unmute you. Okay, sorry, what'd you say? I was gonna say they can also type their question into the chat and we can answer them that way. Yes. Um, so if you wanna flag me down, I can unmute you or unmute yourself. Um, and let's get some more questions answered. No one has any questions? That's I'm crazy. Shocked. Oh, Mary Allison does. Mary Allison. Okay, let's, uh, let me find you. Hold on. Okay, Mary Allison, take it away. Um, I'm actually looking to get what you have behind you, your pressure thing. Ah, yes. Um, those are absolutely, like, brilliantly amazing. Um, so I can send Sandy the link, and then she can post it. I got them on Amazon. They weren't terribly expensive. Um, so I'll send her the link and she can post it on your team page, but they are life changing. So I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but they are pressure, pressure, pressure mounted racks. Um, and I will also send Sandy some pictures. Um, cause a lot of my people on my team have asked about it. Um, and so I'll send Sandy all the details on that so she can get that on your team page. Um, yeah, so definitely good question. Um, but those have been life changing. And also because we're renting here, I didn't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall. Um, and so they've just been amazing. I actually have two, there's another one over here. So there's two, two sets of the double racks and it holds, um, probably 1300 plus pieces. Um, in the with the double pressure mounted rack so it's awesome thank you you're welcome uh, you tell me if it's two pieces say what is it two is it two sections or is it one big it's two sections so what i'm going to send you the link of i have two of those um so i think they're about a hundred dollars for one um, and I bought one and then I was like, okay, these are amazing. So then I bought another one and it's kind of like a, um, you know, 90 degree angle. So I'll send Sandy over some pictures and the link so she can get those on your team page. Yay. Okay. Leanne says the elephant in the room. What's the elephant in the room, Leanne? <laughs> you know what it is. Shipping? Yes, of course. Okay. Listen, ladies, yep, it sucks. It sucks all around. One thing. That's not why I'm asking. Let me finish. Okay. The question is, when you're not getting enough inventory coming in that your group 
essentially gets bored and starts looking elsewhere. And honestly, my best customers have told me, I'm sorry, but I have to buy this. This is beautiful. I have to have it. And you don't have anything new. And they're apologizing to me. And I'm like, don't apologize. Everything's fine. You're allowed to buy from whoever you want. Yeah. But you can't get enough money coming in to fund a weekly or bi-weekly meeting every couple, three days order. I can't. Right now, I'm not. I'm not making enough money to fund that to have that future coming in until I get new stuff that my people want to buy. So it's really, a, I, I'm just trying to figure out how do I do that? Gr gratefully, very gratefully. And I'm very blessed. I've had the opportunity to swap and get a bunch of new stuff, which really gave us a shot in the arm this week. Yeah. Uh, that's I know this is going through a lot of people's minds and I'm just going to ask it because they may not have the opportunity I had to swap. Right. It, it helped me a lot. Yeah. Swap is the only answer. Honestly, that is the only After. answer is to swap find somebody by you to swap yeah. um, if you have to drive a little bit to swap do that i mean that is really the only answer like i said before guys i have i can't i mean a lot of out there in orders a lot and my clients i mean they expect new stuff from me two to three times a week and it is difficult to keep up, up with that but make it look different make outfits do something different, um, change your backdrop and retake all your pictures, whatever it is. I've had to do that before too. When we had slow shipping a few months back, we went through this, maybe not quite this bad, but it was pretty close where for a few weeks there, it was taking like two weeks to get your order. So um, now that build and bless are up and running, I am assuming that things are going to start being working and, um, you know, doing that, um, building your client base will help with that, getting your old inventory in front of new people. Um, that's a great way to do it. Um, host an open house, invite people over. That's another way to do it. I know for some people doing out, out of the house pop-ups are not possible. So host an in-home pop-up, invite your local to come shop, um, host some type of event, and maybe get team up with a vendor. Team up with someone who sells premier jewelry or someone who sells, um, you know, posh or something like that, and they're going to bring you a new client base and do an in-home at your house because your inventory is harder to move than theirs and invite both of your client bases over. And that's gonna give you a new client base and maybe sell a few pieces. Um, I just had a message from one of my newest onboarders and she just opened her doors today and let people come in. She had seven people come over and she sold 20 pieces. That's super exciting. Um, but you know, getting your stuff in front of more people is the best way to continue to move your inventory. We're all quite frustrated. I'm not going to lie. We are all in the same boat. That's why I hosted that swap, Leanne, which was magic for everyone. Um, it really was fantastic. And if we need to do it again, I'll host another one. I don't have a problem with that. I know it's a bit of work, but sometimes you know, with the work comes the benefits of selling. So, um, so Gloria asks, do you think giveaways for every sale is good to do? No, I don't. I don't think your clients should come to expect a giveaway to buy from you. So no, I don't. I do giveaways randomly for fun and they generally do not coincide with a sale. My giveaways generally do not coincide with a the sale. They generally don't require you to do anything but have a little fun. Post a picture of yourself doing something. Um, what's your favorite color? You know, what's your favorite flower? Um, things like that. The people who are going to add to your group are going to be the people who do it willingly, not because they have to. And that's how I grew my group. And that's why I grew slowly. But sometimes your numbers don't reflect your sales. So um, just because your numbers are lower than others, as far as your member base, doesn't mean you have good members. So think about that, too, um, when it comes to that. Kim says, no question. Oh. Thank you, Kim. You're so sweet. Uh, yeah, work on getting new customers so your inventory is always new to them. Have a different host every week in your – Mary, that's great. Mary Allison actually does that, and she's really good with that. Mary Allison is um, part of my team, and she hosts all of her pop-ups in her VIP group, and it has really helped her move her inventory because it, they bring different people in every week. And sometimes she does one, sometimes she does two, um, sometimes she does three or four, but that's a good way to get new people onto your page, absolutely. 
Yes. Yeah. Is it okay to do a pop up someone from a? Yes, absolutely. You are totally allowed to do that. Um, the only thing you cannot do a pop up with is another clothing line. I don't know that they're, I guess, I until the main. <laughs> maybe, like, I don't know, like, I don't know that there's another, oh, maybe Cabby, Boston Cabby. Proper. They are all in home now. So, yeah, so those, you can't have your clothes where they're selling other clothes. That's it. So as far as that goes, absolutely. Do them, have fun. Vendor events are amazing. Um, find a way, make a way, get yourself out there, contact your churches, especially this time of year, guys. Bazaars and things are starting to happen. Your fall festivals, your harvest festivals, yeah. all of those things are starting to happen. Try and get in on them um, if you can. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cindy needs the outfit behind me. Sorry, Cindy, it's old today. <laughs> <laughs> Message me your size and I will make you your own magical outfit. <laughs> Yay, Yachty, I'm glad you figured out how to get to the chat. <laughs> Yay! And ladies, I know um, Whitney said that she was really blessed by this. Um, Sandy and I are just honored to um, be able to give you guys these blessings. And um, Mary Allison, same to you. You know, we have bad days. We all have bad days. I've had my fair share of them. And, um, this, this business is just a blessing, um, just an absolute blessing. And, and to hear you guys say that, that we're able to bless you really just, just kind of blows my mind. Um, and, and I'm just thankful, um, for each of you and, and anytime you need a, a pick me up, um, go to your upline. I mean, we are the ones, um, that are here to, to lift you up and, and help you through problems. So that's why we do these calls. That's why, um, you know, we invited Sandy and her team um, to be on this and going forward, we're all going to be on this together. Um, you know, it's until at some point we have too many people and then maybe we have to split again. Um, you know, but um, it, 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 this is a blessing to us to be able to uh, get on here and, and share with you guys I mean, honestly, and hopefully Sandy doesn't mind me sharing this, a couple hours ago, I messaged her and I was like, girl, I don't know if I can do this tonight. I'm tired. I'm lacking motivation today. I've had a busy day. Um, you know, I'm frustrated with shipping. I'm frustrated with the build and bless system. I'm frustrated with invoicing um, and, you know, payments and, and all that kind of stuff, you guys. I've got three or four orders out totaling oh, probably over $6,000 in inventory um, that hasn't even printed yet. Um, so, so I, I hear you, I feel your pain. Um, but I will tell you with the online sales ladies, don't be afraid to post the same stuff two weeks in a row. I've done it. Um, and I actually had one of my best sales. Now I will tell you, I posted a, the exact same stuff. Um, but I promoted the bejesus out of my sale. Um, I created an event. I invited 500 people. I promoted it two, three times a day. I was on Instagram. I went on about an hour before and did a live video kind of as a sneak peek. Ladies, I was sneak peeking the same stuff they saw last week. Like literally not a single piece of new inventory. I didn't have time to swap. I didn't really think about it. I didn't get together to do that. Now, do I recommend doing that three weeks in a row? No, um, but you can do it one week in a row and then get to a swap. Um, Leanne, that was a great question. Um, I think swaps are fantastic. I think outfits are fantastic. Um, another thing that I tried this week, ladies, is I put my albums out of order. Um, and this was like a total, like totally against my OCD. My albums are always, they start with extra, extra small, and they move all the way up to 3XL. The Nicoles, they're extra, extra small, up to 3XL. Every single thing has its own albums. The albums look all nice and pretty. Well, you guys, I, pu I purposely put them out of order. Like I literally went and jumbled them in my Dropbox. I sorted them by date. So the stuff I've had the longest was in the front of my album. And then the very last picture in the album was my most recent stuff. I had one of my best weeks in probably two months yesterday um, just by putting the stuff out of order. 
Now I did have um, probably about 45 new items um, from a swap that I had done the day before. Um, but ladies, I have like 1,300 items. 45 of them were new. Um, and all I did was put them out of order. Now my OCD was really like hurting uh, last night. And I don't really have that bad of OCD, but it was kind of weird. Nobody said a word about them being out of order. People still shopped. It was fantastic. So, you know, find a way, make a way, think outside the box. Um, don't be, don't be blaming LuLaRoe or upset about, you know, all these things that are happening, you know, have your little two minute pity party. If you need to call your upline, have a quick pity party. Most of us aren't going to have a ton of sympathy for you. Um, because we, we know how it is. We, we know, um, the pains that you're feeling and know that LuLaRoe is doing all of these things in our best interest. Can you imagine a year from now or two years from now when we look back at this and we go, ha ha, remember when we didn't have any Sarah's? Remember when we didn't have any leggings? Remember when nobody could send invoices? Remember when it shipping took three weeks? We're going to laugh about this. And hey, Meredith, remember when you got your initial inventory and all your prints were exactly the same and you got no leggings? Remember that? <laughs> yes. Two months, ladies. I worked the first two months of my business with not a single pair of leggings except the one. I had a one size and a tall and curvy that I had already worn. And yep. I had them at every party. And people would always ask me, can I just buy those? Well, no, because I've worn them. And so has like half of Riverview um, because <laughs> like the try on pair where I got everybody really excited and they just tried on these two pairs that I had so that one day when leggings came, um, they, they would be ready and they would know what size they wanted. But it was literally like 50 days. I went with zero, not a single pair of leggings in my brand new business. So um, you can do it too. Um, and I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it because I was scatterbrained. I was busy. I had a lot going on. Um, so, you know, knock ideas off of us. I don't know if Sarah is still on, but Sarah is a trainer on my team and I call her like my realist. So every time I come up with this like crazy idea, I'll say, Hey Sarah, what do you think about this? And most of the time she's like, uh, that's not a very good idea because what if this happens? And I'm like, Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, so have somebody have an accountability partner, have somebody you can bounce some ideas off nine times out of 10 at your upline. Um, but if it's not, you know, find somebody, um, who's local to you or somebody that, that is on kind of the same level or the same wavelength and bounce some ideas off each other and, and see what you can cook up. I've got another girl um, who I, I know was on, but she might've popped off. We're doing a bridal show together in October. Um, we're splitting the booth fee um, because it is a little more pricey, but we're going to both set up at the bridal fair. We've been kind of bouncing ideas off of each other of how we can maximize our space because there's going to be two consultants in a small booth space. Um, but, but we're going to make it work. And, and the way her and I are approaching it is, we're, we're going to sell stuff, but we're also going to meet a ton, a ton, a ton of prospects because guess who goes to bridal shows? Women. Um, the bride, all her bridesmaids, her mother, her mother-in-law, her aunt, maybe even her grandma. Those are our customers, you guys. Um, so get out there, find a way, make a way, um, think outside the box and, um, you know, I, I do recommend order as often as you can, but I understand um, the, the, the issues, the ebbs and flow of this. Um, so just make it work. But, but I also remember, uh, and this was kind of something I wanted to point out. And at this point, I think I'm kind of rambling, but um, I do remember not long ago when you would place an order and it would ship out the same day. So we will get back to that where yeah. literally you'd order on a Tuesday and you'd have it like Friday. Yeah. It'd be like on your doorstep the same week. Um, so we will get back to that. Um, you know, but it's, it's just the ebbs and flows of, of things that are going on. So um, just be patient, know that they have our best interests and know that we will get back to that. 
Uh, Kim says, explain the host that Mary Allison does. Okay, so basically what she does was when somebody books a party with her, she creates an event on her VIP page, and then that person, the hostess, then adds all of her girls to her VIP page, and then the party is run on her VIP page, and when they claim an item, they put the host's name so the host gets credit. Very simple, and maybe Mary Allison can actually do a webinar on the squad page for that this week. Did you see her face? I think she just had a heart attack. <laughs> on the squad page right here on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Woo -woo. Uh, <laughs> She's like, uh, no. <laughs> if you're brand new and you haven't received your inventory, what would you say is the best, most important way to get the ball rolling and start? Girl, put both feet on the floor and start running. That's all I can tell you. Seriously, jump in head first. Don't look back. Balls to the wall. Pardon my French. Push it hard. The harder you push, the more you're going to succeed. Don't take a break and don't rest. Talk to every person you can. Put a pair of leggings in everyone's hand. Hand out your business card to everyone you see. And always, 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 always have LuLaRoe on your body at all times. I don't care if you don't want to wear it that day because you want to wear a dress. I don't care. Put LuLaRoe on. You want to wear shorts? I don't care. Put LuLaRoe on. Always, always. That's all you wear. Once you get your inventory, there's no reason for you not to be wearing it. There's no reason. I don't care. No reason. Take always, the always kit wear out of your initial inventory and rock them. Um, yeah. Because then people will see you rocking them and they'll want to wear them. Um, and I can kind of piggyback on um, what Sandy said because she's kind of like the motivational person. And I'm like the, okay, she needs like a step-by-step -step program on how to get started, which I'm not going to give you that. Um, but what I will say is, you know, create your Facebook, create your Instagram, whatever social media channels you want to use, Periscope, Twitter, whatever, um, but definitely a Facebook and an Instagram account and start putting stuff on there. Do not invite 200 of your girlfriends to a blank page. Put some pictures of yourself in clothes, put some pictures of your upline on there, um, put some information about the brand on Instagram, you should have all nine pictures, um, which is basically there's three to a row. Um, so you need to post nine pictures before you even start going after other people, going after other friends, um, because you don't want people to look at this and either A, go to it and say, well, what the heck is this? I don't know. Bye. Or go to it and say, oh, well, this girl's brand new. She doesn't know what she's doing. This is just all blank. You got to act like you've been a consultant for a year um, and you know everything and you're going to tell them everything. You're going to show the way, um, you know, but get yourself in the clothes, you know, find a friend, find a local consultant. Even if you need to go to her house, I can't tell you how many local consultants and girls on my team have come over, either bought clothes, just tried on clothes. We take their picture. We get them comfortable with the styles. Um, so, you know, definitely, definitely that's something um, that you can do um, to kind of prepare your business. Um, and then let's see, Whitney says, does everyone do multi hostess online parties or do you just do one person? Whitney, I think it really depends and it's kind of what you, what you're comfortable with. Um, I think multi hostesses are definitely um, probably a better use of your time. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you have five hostesses in five different parties, it's going to take up a lot more of your time. And let's say three of those parties maybe only sell five or 10 items. Well, if those three hostesses would have been in one party, that would have been 30, 40 items. Um, the other thing is if you have a hostess who's not overly engaged, she could kind of be um, motivated by um, seeing the other hostess and her people buying. Um, so I think there definitely could be some benefit to doing multiple hostesses um, in an online party. So I look forward to Mary Allison doing a training on that. Yeah. And then also ladies, feel uh, out your hostess. Some of your hostesses may not like a multi hostess party. Some mm -hmm. of them may just want it to be about them. Um, or I do some, sometimes what I'll do is if um, somebody is willing to host their pop up in my VIP group, once I reach, once they reach 30 sales, I'll give them credit for my entire sale. 
So they'll get hostess credits for my entire sale. So if I sold 80 items, that means they get eight pieces for free once they reach their 30 or however you want to do it, however you want to make your guidelines. That's up to you guys. That's the beauty of this. It's your business. Give back. The more you give, the more you get. We can't say that enough. I mean, Lula Rose says it all the time. We all say it all the time, guys. Seriously, the more you give, the more you get, honestly. Like, it really, truly is. But you have to give from your heart because you want to give, not because you're feeling um, obligated to give. Because if you're giving for that reason, you're not going to get the blessing in return. Yep. Awesome. Does anybody have any other questions? We are kind of out of time, um, but I'm sure Sandy and I don't mind sticking around if some of you need to drop off. Um, but if there's no other questions, then we can call it a night. Anybody? 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 Well, I guess if you guys don't have questions, you can leave and then Meredith and I will just kind of hang out here in case you have questions and you want to wait till everybody else leaves too. If you don't want to ask in front of other people, we can kind of do that too. We're kind of easy like that. <laughs> okay. So one, two, three, bye. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for having us. Love you Yay, guys. Bye. Bye. Some of you might be like, how do I even leave the meeting? Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Some of you may be like, I don't know how to go. I think there's like a button that just says leave meeting. So. Yeah. Or you just close out completely. Yeah. Know. Or yeah, that too. There we go. They're falling off one at a time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What a world, what a world. Glenda, how's your mom? I don't know, can she unmute? Let me see. She's right here with me. Here she is. Say hi. Mom. Hi, mom. Hi, what are you doing? We're training. <laughs> are you feeling okay? I feel great. Well, you look great. Huh? You look great. They somebody stole my teeth. I can't. Put it oh, well, tell them to give them back. <laughs> give them back to you. <laughs> yeah, we're in the hospital. She's been here since Monday morning, and oh. someone um, threw her away her dentures. Isn't that lovely? They threw oh, them away? Yeah. Like they're gone for good? Yes. <gasps> so oh, Linda. So oh, them bigger problems. Plus the heart. Like so. That. Anyway, like she has more tests tomorrow, but she's feeling better tonight. Good, good. I'm so sorry. I've been praying for you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys later. And thanks for all right, Glenda. Let me know when when you're available to come by, and we can okay. chat. Okay, thank you. Bye, girl. Love you. Okay, who else we got? Anybody else got questions? Looks like we have Cindy, Danielle, Gloria, Yadi, and Mary. Okay. Do you have some questions or you just like to look at our faces? They just don't know how to leave. <laughs> or do you just not know how to leave? It can be that too. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and end it then because um, they would ask questions already. Um, I think and Mary, Mary, do you have a question? No, you're good. Okay. Mary, can we put you on like two weeks from now? Sure. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I think that multi-hostess thing is is just a fantastic um, process. And if, if you've kind of come to master it, I, I think that's great. And I'd love to hear yeah, more. I love watching her multi-hostesses. She's so cute. When I think it's fun, they kind of like a little friendly competition, right? Lately, I've only been doing one. Okay. Because it was hard for me to keep up with the three. And... Uh, I don't know. I might go back to it, but I had three at a time and none of them really worked hard. So it was a super bummer. So when I've been putting my focus into one person, it's, it's been a little more fruitful. Hey, that's good advice too, though. Yeah, that's fantastic advice. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool. also very ADD. So it's, it's hard for me to multi-manage things. I, we, we can understand that. Hey, Mary, I cleaned the Lula room today. <laughs> wow. wow. There's nothing on the floor. Is that what happens when you don't have internet? That, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe they need to knock my internet out so I can get some cleaning done around here. Yeah, Flo came over and helped too, though.
Flo was here too, and she helped. So Who? it was that was my friend Flo. Oh, her name's Florinda. She's so sweet. She's here to Hello. listen. She's she's my Jalissa, except for not really because she only comes occasionally, not there every day, all day. Does she tell you how fantastic you are on a regular basis? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. She does. She brought me she brought me breakfast and a coffee this morning. <laughs> well, I seriously thought you meant like Aunt Flo, you know, like when you're in high school and you're like Aunt Flo came to visit, you know, monthly. Oh, Aunt Flo is here too. Aunt Flo is here too. Uh, mine's coming. Mm -hmm. But I'm just glad it will not be while we're in California for leadership. That's true. No, it will it? No, because yeah, we will already be home. Okay. Yeah, we'll be home. Yeah. That'll yeah. Be good. All right, ladies, have a great night. Oh my gosh, I'm totally still recording and we're talking about ant flow. <laughs> can you um, edit that? Um, I think so. I think I can crop it out. I'll send you though, Sandy, I'm going to upload it to YouTube and then that way you can share it and then I'll send you all the notes on my pressure racks too. Um, if we can't edit it, let's not upload it. <laughs> no, I think I can upload it. it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Love y'all. Bye. All right. Bye.